Hello bartenders, cocktail lovers and mixologists from all around the world. Welcome to another episode of my series, Day of Vlog. Day of Vlog is a series where I tell alcohol-free cocktail bar discovery and uh, the tour around places where we find ingredients, where we find uh, brands, also visit to um, producers and visit to places where you can uh, actually uh, experience more this new trend of non-alcoholic mixology. My name is Domenico and as you may know, I am here as a founder of Dedicated, the cocktail blog where alcohol is not the protagonist and this video will be a little trip and little discovery from Barcelona, Spain. But I visited a few bars in the city, I had the opportunity to taste uh, lovely drinks, great cocktails, I also seen amazing bars, some of them in the list of the top 50 best bars and you will see in a moment uh, who they are. As expected, it had to be a little bit uh, with some boundaries, with some, some gaps between uh, me and, and, and as part of the, 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 as a customer and the bartenders in front of me. Uh, not too easy to get close to the bartender, almost impossible to sit on the bars and to, uh, to talk to them. So this video, rather than a very technical video on uh, how they make cocktails and ingredients, it's more a, um, an experience, it's more an overview on the, on the trend in Spain and how they make these drinks. What I found very interesting was um, seeing two, uh, two bars on the first night and other two bars on the second night. Uh, the first two bars I visited were Dr. Stravinsky and Paradiso, uh, in the, both of them in the area of uh, El Born, so a very central area in Barcelona. They were sophisticated because they they were not the common drinks with fruit juices and, and fruit pulp and purees and syrups and I mean the, the things that we are used to drink but they had few ingredients that were special uh, they had fermentation some of them were having kombucha as well and um, and, um, <clears throat> and you could see with your eyes that they put a lot of effort
But as I am one of those who don't uh, drink and enjoy alcohol and uh, I don't really go for alcoholic cocktails, I wanted to challenge the bartenders in both bars to make me something, uh, something really cool, something uh, really, really um, tasty, but without any liquor. And uh, I found that in, in two bars, uh, this, this challenge was much more um, met in terms of cocktail because the drinks were very sophisticated. In other two bars, the, the drinks were uh, tasty, but they didn't really have many cocktails in the list. And I'm talking about the Bowery and I'm talking about the Hemingway bar. The four bars that I visited, so the first two and the second two were amazing. I think it's among the top bars in Barcelona. For sure there are so many others, for sure there are so many in such a big city. But I wanted to visit those that came to my mind and came on the result of the list with a little bit of research. I haven't been there for many days and I tried to be um, as much as possible away from the crowd, so I only visited four bars this time. ¿Cómo funciona? Cada planeta del exterior representa un sabor, ¿sí? Entonces, cuando conectamos estos sabores, conseguimos los cócteles que contienen estos sabores, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, si queremos un cóctel dulce, afrutado, por ejemplo, tenemos dulce, afrutado, lo conectamos mediante esta línea, entonces, estos dos cócteles que aparecen aquí son tanto dulces como afrutados, ¿bien? Funciona exactamente igual con todas las líneas que hay aquí. ¿Bien? Muchas gracias. También página por página con sus ingredientes. ¿Ok? Y los sabores están aquí. Sí, sí. ¿Vale? The second night of cocktail started at the bar called The Bowery. So The Bowery is a bar owned by Luca, a friend of mine, a guy that I met here in the past in London and then he works in Spain, he's Italian, his regions are Italian and uh, he hosted me in his lovely beautiful bar inspired by The Bowery which is a bar in New York uh, known to be um, a little bit controversial with, with nightclubs, night bars, um, nightlife as well. And so he explained to me that he was uh, likely, he was uh, amazingly surprised by visiting this, this place in New York. So he wanted to replicate the style of that part of the city, of the American city, into Barcelona. At the bar it's quite dark and uh, on the contrary, on the, of the, compared to the other places that I've seen in the first two bars, they don't really have alcohol-free cocktails on their cocktail menu, but they do it a la minute. And Luca did two great cocktails. One of them was served in a fancy, in a fancy glass on, of the shape of a aubergine and tasty as well and very creative. I must say that in these two bars, uh, they don't really serve uh, alcohol-free spirits at the Hemingway bar. Uh, they told me that they don't really have that, this much of uh, requests from customers for, of alcohol-free cocktails. So they told me, so they told me we don't really have them in the menu, but we can make it for you uh, instantly. Um, I think that um, if while in London we are experiencing some such a trend, and in Italy as well, such a trend, such a a big thing in alcohol-free drinks. Uh, Spain, I don't, I don't want to say it's not ready yet because I've seen the people were able to make great drinks, but I see that they don't have so many, so many products 
to work with, such as the products that I have behind me, or they, they don't really spend much time in focusing on creating a list, an entire list on alcohol free. The experience at the Hemingway Gin and Cocktail Bar was something unexpected, unexpectedly good. And since the very first moment I entered the bar with Marcella, I noticed that there's so much going on if you want to drink alcohol and if you want to drink creative cocktail. This guy is the hero of the evening. I really want to say a big thanks to this great bartender. His name is Alessio. And apparently we have worked together in the past or in one of the places that I worked. It was such an amazing personality and such an amazing personality. And it was so fun. While in London we are experiencing some such a trend and in Italy as well such a trend, such a, a big thing in alcohol-free drinks. Uh, Spain, I don't, I don't want to say it's not ready yet because I've seen the people were able to make great drinks but I see that they don't have so many, so many products to work with such as the products that I have behind me or they, they don't really spend much time in focusing on creating a list, an entire list on alcohol-free cocktails. And I think this is uh, something that still can be improved from some of them uh, but still, one point for them it was, it was that they absolutely had a great understanding of my need and with Marcella, with me, that we both don't drink alcohol, they have a great skill in inventing the cocktail at the moment. But still, I think the trend will come to Spain very soon and I think they will, uh, they will see this big wave of, uh, of customers asking for no alcoholic, especially because the people who go around in Barcelona are very fit, are very into sport, are very into fitness. So I think that if you offer them, I think that if you are um, keen to uh, extend your offer, extend the products that you sell and you create a little bit more offer to them, I think you could, you could do a little bit more uh, business and a little bit more, a little bit more sophisticated service. You can probably be different or you can probably be one of those that, that first um, jump on this new trend and jump on the jumping on the cocktails that the customers really want. Unexpectedly, on the very last day, we ended up in a place, in a cafe, a surf bar, very close to the beach. We wanted only to have lunch, breakfast and a drink. And we found out that this bar had exactly what I looked for superfoods based drink smoothies or milkshakes or fresh juices and in this one in this case we're with blue spirulina and i loved it see this is what i think it's more interesting going into a bar unexpected behind the corner somewhere in the streets and then you find out spirulina cocktails that's the kind of innovation i mean amazing And in this clip that following now, I want to show you as well that in, in the area where we stayed, in this hotel that we stayed, on the ground floor they had a cocktail shop where they sell so many liquors, so many spirits and so many products as well for mixology like bitters or uh, concentrated and syrups and also equipment. They had shakers, they had mixing glass, they had so many tools and I got to buy got to buy a new jalap strainer and a new shaker so these two are going to be into my photos and into the photos that we do here at home for the cocktails that we do and um, not always into the drinks not always into the cocktail these tools here are perfect into the still life photography that's Marcella's job and this shop as you can see from the clip uh, also hosts uh, seminars classes master classes and you can apply to to participate to their workshops 
and I highly recommend to visit this shop. Uh, it's in the area of Passage de Gracia, very central in Barcelona. You can't miss it if you go to the, to the Spanish city. You can't miss it if you go there. It's very central, you can reach there from, uh, from, the, from the Rambla or from Plaza de Catalunya in a few minutes by walk or just by, tra by public transport. If you come from the beach, if you live or stay in La Barceloneta, just get there with a bus. And so this video comes to an end. I really hope you enjoyed it and you enjoyed watching it as I really enjoyed making it. Please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I will film another video this week and I'll wait for you next Sunday for another episode of Day of Vlog. Thank you for watching this vlog from Barcelona. Not too many drinks, not too many bars open, not too many bars visited, but I really, really loved the one that I seen. So I will see you next Sunday. Cheers to your health. Dedicated.